Well, just hours ago before the Zags take the court in Salt Lake City for their 19th consecutive NCAA tournament, our Keith Oso and Will Sherrod are in Utah. And guys, you guys, you're not the only ones who made the trip there. <laughs> you said 19 straight. Zag fans are used to this. I think it showed a little bit today. Open practice. Got to zero dollars to come watch the Zags play. The band was there. It was awesome. There were some diehards, but not the turnout we've seen at other venues. The, I think they're in town. It's just that when you go to the tournament so many years in a row, you kind of skip that and enjoy the city a little bit. It's 75 degrees outside today, so go out and enjoy Salt Lake City a little bit. I think they're going to be here tomorrow, but make no mistake about it. The ones that showed up in the arena today, really excited to be here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so amazing just being out here in the NCAA tournament as number one seed. So many friends here and we just are so excited to go tomorrow. I grew up in Montana. We've been going to the tournament uh, for about 25 years and whenever Gonzaga's there in town, we uh, come on out and watch and support them the best we can. It's been the best day of my life. Tomorrow though might be better. Yep. Than and Zag fans are happy to be here for leg one of what they hope is a three week run in the NCAA tournament. Ah, just a feeling I have. They're big, they're good, they're they're playing together as a team. The chemistry's good, and uh, we've just got a lot of experience with the coaching staff. Definitely, they got a good defense, and they can shoot the ball outside well, so I think that's going to help them. We have an incredible work ethic and an amazing fan base, and we're going to scream our heads off, and they're going to play the best, and we're going to make it all the way. That's the goal, make it all the way. I do anticipate that 11 a.m. start time, we're going to have a lot of Zag fans in here. We hope so because everybody else in this building is going to be rooting against Gonzaga because they don't want to play against them. They want to get to the Final Four themselves. So hopefully what we saw today, the excitement, is just expanded by numbers, I think is what we're, what we're hoping for. And the, the turnout last year in Denver wasn't phenomenal, but then game time it was. So I'm with Keith. I think it'll be a much better turnout come tip-off tomorrow. Of course, we've got plenty more coming up on KX. So Y4 News at 6 o'clock. We'll hear from the two teams as we actually get ready to talk about a basketball game coming up <laughs> tomorrow. Zags haven't played in forever. We'll hear from them coming up in about 15 minutes. For now, with Keith Oso, I'm Will Sherrod, live in Salt Lake City, covering the Gonzaga Bulldogs, KXLY4 Sports. All right, thanks, guys, and we'll talk to you a little bit later.